Hi there, uh, are you uh, at home self-isolating at the moment due to the coronavirus? If you are, this message and video is just for you. Hi, my name is Dan Smith. I'm the Director of Sports of Spinal Physio here in Essex. Um, we have put together today a little video to explain the lengths that you need to go to to ensure that your spine remains healthy whilst you are home working during the coronavirus. So I popped into Anna's room um, to have a chat with Anna about how she, uh, what she recommends is the best thing to do when you're self-isolating at home or working from home. Okay Anna, so can you give me your top tips for looking after your health, in particular your body, when you are self-isolating at home or working from home during the coronavirus? So a couple of my clients this week had quite some concerns regarding not having their desk set up properly, having to work from, um, from a laptop on a much smaller screen, etc. So um, I think the worst thing is you really need to set yourself up as if that was a workspace, make it as professional as possible, giving you the setup um, to stay healthy in your position. So first thing is make sure you can sit upright, make sure you've got enough space, um, distance to the screen, if possible use a bigger screen as well. So if you have like a spare screen at home, maybe have a docking station connected with, with a cable to your laptop. Um, just to yeah to give you that that bigger bigger setup in, in general um, make sure you stay mobile don't freeze on the couch or on a sofa just because you don't have a, um, a proper setup and um, so you need to make sure that you really set yourself up straight make sure your um, your position is as ergonomically good as possible so you want to have if you really have to sit on a sofa, a cushion behind your back, you don't want to be slashed all the way back, maybe even have a little nice cushion there on the laptop looking down all day. So you really want to get the set up in a professional um, environmental way. Thank you very much. Yeah. Brilliant, thank you. Okay, Dan, so I want you to tell me your top two tips for people who are at home working due to the coronavirus. Um, tip number one, take regular breaks. So what I want you to do is every 30 minutes just walk around from your desk even if you're on your phone, that's fine. Um, and then every two hours I want you to get up and actually go out away from your working station, whether that's walking around the garden or going through the fields for a walk. Um, just make sure you're breaking out of that habit. So you can do that by making sure you set alarms. It's quite easy to um, get away from hours passing by without realising the time because you're in your home comforts. Brilliant. And anything else you can do? Any other tips? Um, with that one, you can stay hydrated as well. So every time you set an alarm, make sure you have a glass of water as well. I think we're over two litres a day, especially if we're off. Okay? Right, Scott, I want you to give me uh, a couple of um, pointers for people that are self-isolating at home at the moment. A couple of ideas of things they can do to make, uh, make things better and also to think about their spines and their health. So I think the first thing is to make sure that you don't become sedentary. You don't just sit down all day and don't move. You have to move. Motion is lotion. Um, you have to move. Um, you should look at maybe home exercise platforms. Um, so, you know, whether that's through YouTube, whether that's online. Um, you know, there's loads of healthcare professionals out there that still are looking for work. You know, I know personal trainers that would happily write people home exercise programs. We would be able to provide home exercises for people who want to exercise at home over these next month. Um, you shouldn't stop. Um, don't overeat, <laughs> which is what I'm going to struggle with. Um, uh, definitely don't overeat because, you know, when you're sitting there, you're going to comfort eat because there's not a lot else to do. Um, so the most important thing is to try and keep some structure, keep exercising, move little and often. Brilliant. That's great. Thanks very much. Okay, so I thought that what I would try to do here is give you an idea of the optimum positioning that you should aim for when you're sitting at a desk or a table. Uh, at home. So we have a chair and a desk and a screen here. So what I like to do is try and get the, the chair in a position where the chair is high enough that my hips are higher than my knees so that I'm not sitting low down like this. I then want to try and get the, the chair arms, if I've got them, underneath my arms to support my shoulders so that I'm not taking all the weight of my neck and shoulders in my arms 
without chair arms, so I want to be in this position here. I'm then going to come into the table or the desk. Now ideally you want to want to adjust, I know this is uh, not applicable for most people, but you want to be nice and close into the desk, chair arms here, keyboard close to you, not far further away, so that it's here, and you really want your mouse near you as well. You want this to be your kind of uh, close working area where you don't need to stretch out. And then ideally the screen should be arm distance away and it should be at ideally head height. So that everything you do is in this radius here and the screen is in front of you. If you've got documents, they need to be in front of you too. Ideally a document holder works well. What you don't want is documents down here and documents down here because you're gonna end up doing this all the time. Whereas if they're in front of you on a document holder, you just glance down to, to look at the, the document, then you can refer back to the screen. Uh, if you have a laptop, you could try um, purchasing an Ergo queue, and I'll put the link to that in this video. Uh, a great bit of kit that turns your laptop into a screen. You do need a separate keyboard to them, but they are brilliant. Um, so uh, essentially that's the, the setup that you're looking for um, when you are working at home at a desk or at your dining room table.